Not because many people believe something to be true doesn't make it true. It most often merely means that most people have all received the same false information. This is especially true when all information comes from those who have proven themselves as being the most notoriously deceitful, corrupt, and most narcissistic group of people throughout history. Whenever this type of people controls all information that the world receives, they'll always feed the world lies that falsely exalts and empowers themselves. It's the people they inherently are. It's the way they've always been, and it's the only way they know how to be. This is precisely the case in regards to the moon landing. The U.S. faked the moon landing in order to win the space race against Russia. Then the hoax was then used to perpetuate the myth of white racial superiority. It's a lie that's being used to propagate the empowering myth that Caucasians are the most advanced race, given that their racial group is allegedly the only group to land on the moon. The real details are, is that in 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced that the U.S. would put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. From then on, NASA program to reach the moon before the Soviet did was on. The race was on. Now, when it became apparent that NASA, um, the U.S. could not achieve the feat to reach the moon, rather than admitting it, the U.S. faked the moon landing in order to win the race against Russia. That hoax is now being used to perpetuate the myth of white racial superiority. As I've always stated, whenever lies have been sold to the masses for a very long time, a speaker of the truth will always sound like a raving lunatic. I will therefore prove my case by using NASA officials' own words against them. Whenever NASA is presented by valid arguments disputing the moon landing, they constantly present excuses upon excuses, and each new excuse proves that the last excuse was a lie. And these lies and shifting excuses confirm that the moon landing never happened. NASA officials stated that we're not yet able to travel to the moon because of the impenetrable Van Allen radiation belt that surrounds the moon or around the Earth is too dangerous. They say they haven't yet built a spacecraft that can protect astronauts from the harmful radiation. So until then, we are limited to just space exploration. Within that statement, NASA unwittingly revealed that the Van Allen um, belt, radiation belt, um, prohibits humans from reaching the moon. They stated that they, they didn't have the technology to safely get humans past the Van Allen radiation belt. They said that, that nothing shields gamma radiation except a strong magnetic field, which they cannot produce at this time. When asked how did we travel to the moon during the 1960s, NASA officials responded saying that we had the technology to do so then, but we've since lost the technology. When experts examined the footage of the moon landing and found that it was fake, NASA replied that the footage of the true moon landing got destroyed in a fire. So, that, so the one made available to the public is a reenactment made in movie studios. Come on. When applying critical thinking, reasoning, and common sense, it becomes clear that NASA, by NASA officials' own words, proves that the moon landing never happened. If you believe that white men actually traveled over 238,000 miles to the moon and back in spite of an impenetrable Van Allen radiation belt that surrounds the Earth, you've been fooled by the white society's lies. Furthermore, an Air Force pilot stated that he and a co-pilot were sent on a mission to see how far they could make it from the Earth. He said around 600 miles he further said that he couldn't tell the exact distance because it's classified. He said it at around 600, he hit an area that made him see stars in his head, not in his eyes, but within his head. He said he started seeing stars, which was in fact caused by the radiation impacting his brain because there's not enough shielding to protect it. Let's face it, 
Just like Star Wars, the moon landing never happened. If you believe that white men actually traveled to the moon in spite of the impenetrable Van Allen radiation belt that surrounds the Earth, thus preventing anyone from traveling to the moon, it's because you're not functioning based upon facts nor reality. You're instead functioning based upon white exalting lies. The moon landing is a hoax that is being used to pro propagate the myth that Caucasians are the most advanced race. The white society sits upon a throne of white exalting lies. The white society, the white society constantly feeds lies into a society that exalts their racial groups. All societies function based upon their narratives that are fed into a society. And the white dominant society is literally falsely scripted to propagate and convey the myth of white racial superiority. Doing so creates and sustains false assumptions within society that aids in maintaining their white social dominance. This is deemed necessary because according to white social scientists, people are inherently tribal and therefore do not naturally accept the long-term dominance of other racial groups over their lives. People must be manipulated to do so. Therefore, by constantly sublimely propagating the myth of white racial superiority, that, that whites are inherently superior to a subordinate um, population, this instills a value system into the subconscious minds of the subordinate population that makes us more compliant with white dominance over our lives. Everything that you currently believe are lies that meet the objective. It's in fact the real matrix. The real matrix is not a computer simulation. It's not a movie, nor does it have anything to do with a red pill. The real matrix is a false, illusory worldview grafted upon us from birth through the white society's monopoly over narratives. More specifically, the real matrix is an elaborate perception management system. Perception management is a propaganda technique that involves altering the public's perception of reality to suit the objective of the ruling class. It's a well-proven system that is an essential part of modern information warfare. Within this real matrix, it's, uh, it contains societal conditions created and sustained by misinformation, distortion of facts, denial of truth, and even the manipulation of the past to falsely exalt Caucasians. It's designed to, to sustain false assumptions within society that aids the white society in maintaining their social dominance. Therefore, your perception of reality is an elaborate white deception. Case, point, and proof. It's most likely that you're functioning based upon the perception that most inventions that have revolutionized the world were invented by Caucasians. And you also believe that black people are the leech of society that haven't invented much throughout history. This perception greatly aids the white society in maintaining its social dominance over black populations. But it's an elaborate deception created by false narratives that have been repetitively fed into our society. Just keep repeatedly feeding false narrative into a society through media ads, news reports, falsely scripted movies, miseducation, and before long, everyone will accept the false narratives rather than the true reality. The truth, however, is that most inventions that have revolutionized the world were either in fact invented by black people or were directly inspired by early inventions by black people. Without black people, there would exist no internet no cell phones. We wouldn't have cameras. We wouldn't have micro, we wouldn't have cameras or microphones on our cell phones. We wouldn't have the accurate weather forecasting systems. We wouldn't have the cataract laser removal scopes. There, um, there would be no emails, no GPS, no hearing aid, no touch tone phones, no caller ID, no home civilian security systems, no motorized vehicles, no steam engines, no traffic lights, no working light bulbs, no elevators, therefore no skyscrapers. We wouldn't have air conditions. We wouldn't have the modern color PC. There'd be no 3D movies, no central heating, no refrigerators, no helicopters, no washing machines, no lawnmowers, no dryers, no refrigerated trucks, no blood banks, no fiber optics, no nanotechnology, no female sanitary pads. No bathroom tissue holders, no pencil sharpness, etc., etc. The world would be significantly lesser without black people. 
Black people have, in fact, enriched every, um, the lives of every person on this planet through our many inventions. This fact has been deliberately kept from the public through the white society's monopoly over narratives. The truth of the matter is that white people invented the pattern office and have always used it to steal the intellectual property rights from black people. Because in order for black inventors to get our inventions patterned, mass produced, we have to go before white companies. These white companies acquires the right to the invention and then places white faces in front of the technology. This scenario allows the white society to continue exploiting the genius minds of black people while maintaining the appearance that most inventions are coming from the minds of white people. This is our hidden reality. Through this whitewashing practice, the white society has literally whitewashed the perception of reality to be seen as they want it to be seen. Black people, we must wake up to our reality. We must always question our perception of reality when it's been exclusively controlled by the white society. Because whenever the perception of reality is being controlled by history's proven most notoriously deceitful, racist, and most narcissistic group of people, they'll always distort it to falsely exalt themselves and to falsely marginalize us. It's the racist, narcissistic people they inherently are. It's the way they've always been. And it's the only way they know how to be. Through their monopoly over narrative, they've created a prison for our minds. I'm trying to help free your mind from that mental prison. But I can only show you the door. You're the one who have to walk through it. It's time to wake up. And you have to elevate your mind above biblical fairy tale and silly slave syndrome myth and learn the social sciences that's being used for maintaining white social dominance.